Hi, welcome to our page. So our genre is indie rock, as man. you can as you can see here, and we chose this genre because it's like quite common, but at the same time, it's more it's like a common niche sort of, and you don't need a really high budget to use it. And normally with uh, indie songs, they have a lot of narrative, and there's a lot of ideas we can go. So the song we've chosen is Bonfire, initially by the Hunter, but um, we're then going to change the artist's name and create our own band, as if they've sung the song. So the narrative that we wanted to use was just like normal, stereotypical boyfriend-girlfriend, broken, breaking up, that sort of thing, um, because that's the kind of comparison that we drew from the lyrics themselves, and obviously you can just use whatever you want in the video. Uh, one of the locations we thought about doing is South End. As you can see, it's, it looks really nice. We can do things on the beach, and there's a lot of different uh, locations within it. Plus, it's a public area, so we don't spend any money on Yeah. And basically, the same thing for London. They're both just different ideas for the narrative part of the music video. But we're probably going to use London because one, it's easier to get to, and two, there's like a lot more things to. Get get foot in the and stuff. And then, uh, for one part, we we're going to just use like a normal forest um, to kind of tie into the whole bonfire aspect. And then, so for the other half of the video, we're doing a performance base because it's indie rock. We're going to have uh, our band playing for mainly the chorus for most of it. So uh, some locations we thought of was. Alex's garage. It doesn't actually look like that, that's just a normal garage. Uh, and then, like, a, just a green, and because you can do it outside, it means you wouldn't have to focus really on lighting. We're thinking, you know, you could do it at night time and use, like, fake lights and man yeah. man made stuff um, to get the right colours and stuff that we wanted. And there's just loads of production company names that we thought of. And then our final one is the MOAB, which is Mongo Room Bands. Because we thought it sort of stems from like uh, the Mongo Room Band. Right? Yeah. And it's like a well known word already. And then that's, that's, yeah. that's our pitch. Thank you very much. Okay, so you've said that primarily you're going to do it so that it's based in a variety of different locations. What timings and how long are you expecting each area to take? Because it's, you've nearly said about five four or five different locations. Most of them are like uh, rough ideas. I think if we're going to pick London, we'll just do lots of shots within London. Yeah, I don't think we'll do London and South Yeah, yeah, we just want to do it at the moment. And then only having the choruses be the performance bits. Okay, and why have you selected the chorus to be the main performance aspect? Because that's just usually what happens in the music video. So that's also the most iconic sort of part of the song people recognise. So they recognise the band and London. And how many people roughly do you think you're going to have in your band? Because obviously then you'll have to think about, okay, so if you've got four, then have you got any ideas as to how you'll do the casting for that? Are you going for looks or are you going for um, kind of we, aesthetics? We're considering having uh, possibly us three or one more because it's more reliable having people from our uh, group. But then for the, the two couple that are going to break up, we'll get people who we'll do casting for the casting. Yeah, for the narrative aspect, yeah. we'll have Cause other people as more... Okay, and for your narrative, is there a specific lyric that you focused on in terms of to develop the performance aspect or even the narrative aspect? Is there a, a specific lyric that you focused on and thought, that's what we want to base ours around? Or is it that actually you just like the song at the moment and you're doing it as a kind of a step-by-step -step creative process? Um, the, the lyrics of the song, like, we couldn't actually find... Like a there statement isn't one from the band yeah. about what it means, so we kind of just drew our own like idea of what it meant. And yeah. most of the lyrics, they just it just seems like they're talking about something going badly, like mm -hmm. it's going up in flames, that sort of thing. So and the it's basically called bonfire, and part of the thing we're going to draw into it is an actual bonfire. And so did you decide with the idea of the boy and the girl, did you decide to kind of challenge or conform conventions in that respect? Mm -hmm. Probably conform. Yeah, conform. And why? Because it means that more people would watch your video and more people would 
we could slightly challenge it a bit because of the long drills we've done. Yeah. Okay. We haven't, we haven't properly discussed that. No, that's fine. That's and what do you think your next steps are going to be as a company? Uh, we need to get a lot of target audience feedback. Yeah. So, what they want to see, what they think is the right move to make. And do you have any initial ideas based on pre existing videos? Okay, right, brilliant. Thank you for your time.